channel and it is really good to see you guys. Today we're going to be talking all about how to do placement for bronzer or contour, blush, and highlighter if that's something that you really want for a little bit more of a mature face. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. So as you can see, I have no dimension to my face whatsoever. I look like a ghost actually because I don't have anything on my cheeks except for everything else on. All right. So I'm going to show you two things, two different ways, and we're going to talk through this. So if you have one of those L notebooks that I know a lot of you guys do, get those out. We're going to take some notes. So I'm going to show you how to do it with cream, and I'm going to show you how to do it with powder, because it just depends on what kind of a girl you are. If you're a powder person or you're a cream person, okay? It's really hard to do this when everybody has a different face shape, okay? Um, we all have different places on our face that things look the best on us. So for example, I have a pretty round face, okay? I am not quite sunken in here yet, but I, so I need a little bit of definition here, okay? Blush for me has a tendency to look great on top of my cheeks, um, and then sometimes on the apples of my cheeks. Now, that's the reason why I say this is because I'm gonna give you general tips, but along the way, I'm gonna talk about different face shapes. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna start out with, you know, as we, I guess as we age, I really don't think that contour is something that we really need to be invested in. Um, I have a tendency to enjoy more of a bronzed effect. So basically bronzer is just there to add a little bit of dimension to the face, a little bit of warmth. Um, I just, and that's just my personal opinion. If you want to do contour, go on with your bad self and have a great time with it. The placement's going to be basically the same. So for me, when I'm doing something, I use like a cream bronzer. This is the one by Fenty. You can use it on a sponge. You can use it on a brush, whatever, whatever floats your boat, okay? Um, I'm going to take the cream bronzer. Now for my face, right? You see this angle right here? If you follow this, it's going to be way too low. I want you to take your brush and place it to your mouth. See how it goes like this? That is where your bronzer should be, okay? If you already have a sunken face right here, like a lot of definition, you actually do not need to have bronzer. It might be a step that you can opt out for, okay? So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna make it really kind of apparent so you guys can see and then I'll blend it in. Okay, so for me, my bronzer, my cream blonde bronzer goes like this, okay? That's where it goes, okay? And then if I was to do highlighter, which you don't have to, honestly, it's an unnecessary step if you don't want to, but you're just gonna pop it right on top of that cheekbone and right where the bronzer meets the cheekbone. So see right here, yes, okay? I'm just using the ColourPop um, whisk. And then you're gonna take your blush and you're gonna go on top of that highlighter. So you, I like to stop blush when it's a cream based, not so far forward because you're gonna blend it out. You have to remember. So you want to make sure that this is on top of the bronzer. Now you can absolutely do it like I just did where you can just kind of layer them together. You take your angled brush, whatever brush you have, beauty blender, your fingers. I like a, a, a brush and you blend up into that blush and then you bring it in circular motions like this. Now, for most people, keeping your blush up high like this is going to be way more flattering. Reason being is that it pulls the face up. Can you see, even from both sides, this has already cut my cheek in half and made it look like I have a lot more definition here than I actually really do. So this is how, and then I just stamp. Du, 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 du. Okay, and then you just kind of bring whatever you have down on your on the brush, kind of just down on that apple. But do you see how high I go up into this temple area? Now, if you th have a problem with it becoming muddy, where you can't necessarily see the colors, A, it means that you have the wrong color bronzer, and B, you're probably applying too much. And C, you're also probably over blending. Yes, there is such thing as over blending, which basically means is you just sit here forever and you're just pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in because maybe you have put way too much product on and then it just becomes one color, okay? So 
Couple ways to combat that, either apply your bronzer first, blend that up. You guys, I cannot stress you to blend that up into the cheekbone. Do not bring it down here. Or, and then you can also apply your, your uh, blush on top of it and then blend that away. I just can't stress enough that you guys need to start with less is more, okay? Less bronzer, less br blush, less highlighter if you have a chance to, if you wanna use that. That is going to be less is more, okay? Because sh building sheer layers of bronzer and blush is going to be a lot easier than blending out tons and tons of pigment that you've already put on, okay? Pretty, right? Oh, last tip I want to give you before I move on. If you start to blend your blush and bronzer too far forward, right here, take a little bit of your powder on a sponge that's dry and tap it, or take your brush with a little bit of powder and tap it out. And what this does is it softens the edge and also just kind of starts to make it blend a little bit more. You can also do the same thing where you kind of set underneath here with a little bit of powder that's completely unnecessary, but it does clean up this area. Cut. Lots of tidbits today, huh? <laughs> Blush and bronzer. Okay, so now let's talk about powder. I always start with my bronzer first. I actually use it, and again, brush choice is going to be extremely important here, okay? You need to choose the size of a brush that matches the size of the area that you need, okay? So if you use a big fluffy brush like this, now I've, I've been doing makeup for a long time, so I can pretty much control this big brush over my whole face, but I'm just telling you guys, if you start using big brushes, it starts to become one muddy mess and just doesn't look defined. So um, pick something small. Uh, I've done a whole video, some of the videos on how to pick brushes, so take a look at that. But this is the BK Beauty 108 brush. I'm going to tap it into a little bit of bronzer, tap off excess. We're gonna do the same place. I'm gonna take it from the top of my ear and come it, come it, <laughs> and come forward right here. And usually you stop right about where the dark color of your eye starts, okay? I'm just trying to make this so you guys can really see it. And you can just use really light pressure, you guys, really light pressure. Do not go in with your brush like this. Then when you're happy with what you have, you start to do these circular motions up into the cheek area. Up, 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 not down, okay? We don't want to pull our face down. Remember, dark makes things recede, light makes things kind of pop out, okay? And this is why it's important, because when you're diffusing your bronzer, you like, it, it's best to diffuse in these kind of short micro circles or in these kind of motions going up. But with too big of a brush, what happens? Here's the big circle. It's already covered my whole face, okay? So super important to remember. And you'll notice I'm bringing the bronzer up into this temple. Little, little strokes, little, little strokes, little, little strokes. Okay? Yes? Yes. Fantastic. Going in with blush. This is just Charlotte Tilbury's Ecstasy. Pick your favorite, guys. Pick your favorite. Now, you can either go in with a bigger brush here if you'd like, but um, this is actually an e.l.f. brush that I really enjoy. It's their blush brush. I think it's really well made, and I love how... It actually is like flat right here and then kind of pops out. The, um, this is the brush that I've been using recently, so I'm just gonna go in, swirl, pop, tap off excess. And then again, I start from up top here. Brush is so soft. And then I come in. And we're gonna keep it on top of that cheek, okay? I don't normally wear highlighter, so I'm just trying to show you what it looks like layered without. Yes, do we see this? Yes, okay. And again, same rules apply, you can just Tap this out with a sponge or a brush if it's come too far forward on the face. Now, last couple tips here. A lot of people you see do right over the nose. I have done it for years and it actually makes the um, face kind of come together and look a little bit less like you have, uh, you know, color on the face, color on the face. So I just actually take a little bit of the bronzer, a little bit of the blush, tap off with a little bit on a, you know, like a uh, towel and just go right over the nose. And it has a tendency to just kind of break it up. Do you see how kind of it made it look a little bit more sun-kissed? All right, so this is what the cheeks look like. Um, I will tell you that if you are kind of struggling with this as a technique, 
I would honestly start out with a powder first. So go into more powders, um, pick your brush selection appropriately, and then you can go into creams. Creams have a tendency to migrate kind of out of your control, to be honest with you, um, if you are not super um, experienced with them. Uh, less is more always. Less is more always, always, always. And I, I will leave, again, I just, there's so much to talk about with this. I think a lot of people, when they use a bronzer, want to see more definition, I guess, okay? If you really want to see like a, I'm trying to think, like if you had a face shape that did not kind of go in at all, because there are some people's face shape that just do not go in at all, you might want to try layering a cream bronzer or like a darker foundation here and then going over it with bronzer. Now, if you have a face, like I said, that's already kind of sunken in here, sunken in here, smaller forehead, what are we going to kind of reasonably think about doing is skipping bronzer altogether or using bronzer as blush and just doing kind of a light dusting all over the face because you have to remember when we're using bronzer we're trying to recede that area we're trying to add definition dimension depth and so if you don't need it don't feel like you have to have it you can of course mix your blush with your bronzer and give it kind of that sun-kissed look together in the same spot that's always a great go-to too as well and then the last thing i'll say is really start to focus on the pressure of your hand. I know we've talked about this before, but it's been a minute since we've talked about it. Um, I really urge you guys to start watching how much you're pushing on your brushes, and that pressure will deposit product like this and all over the place, okay? You know, back in the day, we used to say, smile, put on, you know, your apples of your cheeks, blush, and then you smile, and it goes like this. Where's that blush now? Okay, so that's why as we age, it's super important to start things from further back and don't bring them down as far and to also start higher on the face so it gives an optical illusion that things are lifted and things are higher than they are. I hope that these essential tips for bronzer slash contour blush highlighter really helped you out. It's going to take some practice, but again, get those right brushes, get the right products that fit your needs, and you honestly will be a master at this in no time. Thanks y'all so much for being here. Lots of love from me to you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye loves.